Hello guys, uh, welcome to Tech Design. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm just going to explain you how this uh, mod design can be done. Uh, the soap box design can be done in surface modeling. It's been very long gap we are into uh, surface modeling workbench. So I thought of taking one of the example, uh, you know, to create a soap box in a surface modeling, and then it will be uh, made into a solid model. So before going to start uh, today's tutorial, I would like to uh, you know comment. I would like to talk about uh, one of the comment that is uh, a guy was asking uh, where are the selection filter and uh, how to use them. So guys, please uh, you know watch all my videos so that you will have a simple uh, tips in each and every video. So it will be very helpful uh, even with a simple command. Uh, if you are unable to know how to use then you are uh, stuck with uh, some of the models you won't be able to complete the models so here are the some uh, you know selection filters as you can see here uh, different different selection filters are there uh, depending on your situation uh, depending on your model uh, you can able to select them uh, wisely so uh, let me make one uh, video on these uh, selection filters so that it will be clear for you uh, everyone can understand how uh, uh, this works so now we will start with the today's topic that is a soap box in uh, surface modeling so let us go to new file and uh, let me create a model and you can give whatever the name you required here so this will take you to a modeling workbench where uh, surface commands are over here if this is not existing you know what to do so let us go to sketcher environment and I'll just select this uh, plane and uh, now let me draw one uh, simple sketch here okay and I will just give the dimensions for this uh, this is 35 mm and this will be 8 mm so now the uh, sketch is fully constrained I will just finish the sketch and I just need to extrude this so let us go to extrude and select this I just need to give a symmetric value with a 40 mm and always you need to uh, give a sheet for this body type so that when you are giving an edge blend or any sieve command uh, this will take you to uh, it will consider it as a sheet so now we have a simple sk uh, sketch and uh, extrude now what I will do is I will just go to sketcher in a moment again and let me go into sketch on this plane okay now I will just create a simple sketches so one rectangle over here and another rectangle over here okay now let me give some dimensions to this this is 20 mm and this is 25 mm In the similar way I just take it down mm, let me constrain this so these two should be equal and these two should be equal also this should be in collinear with this and let me give some uh, dimensions to this from the edge so from here to here it will be 5 mm now we need to give some dimensions here so let us give here to this center is 15 mm okay and let me make uh, this uh, symmetric so instead of doing symmetric let me give same distance between here this is also 15 mm close this and uh, also I need to uh, create a one more uh, rectangle here this is my rectangle and let me give 20 mm as a dimension on both side so this is 20 mm and this is also 20 mm and this should be symmetric so I'll just give 10 mm for this and also I need to give the distance between these to this so let us give distance from here to this point it will be 11 mm okay now sketch is fully constrained so I'll just give some fillet uh, for this 
so the fillet value will be 6 mm so I'll just hit F and let me give 6 mm and start selecting each and every edges so that uh, it will give 6 mm as an edge blend okay so now we have to create some circles over here so what I'll do is I'll just go to circle and this circle will be of 5 mm diameter and I will just constrain this uh, by giving 5 mm as the distance from here okay this is 5 mm and we also need to give this distance so uh, let me give it as a 10 mm or else we can just coincide it uh, this point should lie on this line click ok and I need uh, four uh, circles similar to like this. So what I'll do is I'll just do a pattern and here is a pattern and this should be linear pattern and I'm just selecting this circle and it should be along this direction and as soon as you select this as you can see here uh, we have a pitch of uh, 20 mm so let us give uh, sorry span so span let us give 20 mm so that uh, will have the fourth circle will be on coinciding with this line so once you are done just keep click ok and this is a fully constrained sketch and this is what we have to do in this sketch uh, please take a note of all these dimensions and click finish ok now we have go to now now I will extrude these two uh, rectangles so go to extrude and let me keep it as a connected curve if it is a feature curve this entire feature will be selected so keep it as a connected curves and I'm just selecting these two and it should be in a reverse direction and let us keep it as a sheet and the length will be only 4 mm and as you can see here and I have to give some draft for this so I'll just go to from start limit and let me give a draft of uh, 3 degree okay and now this is more than enough let's click okay so as soon as you click okay you can see the sheet here and also I'm just going to extrude this uh, rectangle so let us select the connected curves and select this and keep this as a sheet and it should be reverse direction and the length will be 19 mm and we also need to give a draft for this let us give 5 mm uh, 5 degree as a draft and click ok so now uh, we are left with uh, so now what we have to do is we'll just trim this uh, sheet so go to trim command here is a trim command so I'm just going to trim this this I have to keep so I'll just key, uh, select it as a key and my boundary will be this this as well as this and click ok so as you can see here our uh, sheet is trimmed and also I want to uh, trim this sheet now I will uh, select with a discard so I'm just going to discard this sheet and select the you know circles and click apply oops sorry guys mm, I think uh, discard will not work here because there are different uh, circles so this will work okay so now as you can see here our uh, uh, soap box uh, comes in uh, proper shape so still we have some work to do so now what I will do is I will just go into a uh, sketch error moment again so go to sketch error moment and select this plane now and click ok and we have a sketch error here so what I will do is I will just uh, go to an arc and it is a center point arc I'll draw a arc with a 2.5 mm radius. Sorry, 2.5 mm diameter. So let me give it as 2.5 divided by 2. Okay. And uh, make sure that uh, this uh, circle uh, should be tangent. So I'm just going to make this as a tangent to this. And also these points should be lie in the same line okay and then this point should uh, touch this line so let us go to 
point and then let us touch this okay now i have to you know um, pattern this so go to pattern curves and select this and this is a linear pattern so what i'll do is i'll just give this direction so make sure uh, until this point touches this uh, we can just give the you know pattern so number of counts i'll just increase it to 5 and uh, count and pitch pitch i'm just going to give 4.3 so you can see here this is uh, really touching it and there will be a slight uh, gap uh, let us keep it as it is that is not an issue and click ok now we have to create an uh, lines between these two ok Let us make it as uh, you know horizontal okay so now this sketch is ready uh, let us finish the sketch and we have the sketch over this direction here i'll just uh, extrude this sketch along this direction so that it will extend this uh, previous sheet material so let us give sheet and click ok so now what i will do is i'll just uh, you know mirror this in the other side so for that i'm just going to mirror feature and this feature i wanted to mirror and this is my plane okay as you can see here our plane has come here now what we can do is we have to give some edge blends uh, between these so i'm going to edge blend here and let us give one mm as an edge blend and start giving these edge blends okay click okay so uh, what i will do is uh, i have taken the mirror feature in the down uh, so now what i will do is i want to you know uh, mirror the edge blend as well so what i will do is i'll just go to mirror feature and i will also select this uh, uh, you know edge blend so both can be mirrored here so as you can see here now both the features are mirrored so now what I have to do is I'll just uh, trim the extra uh, sheets here. So let us go to surface and trim sheet. So this I wanted to trim and this should be discarded uh, using this. Okay, click apply. Now as you can see here, uh, now I want to trim this sheet using these sheets. Sorry. And click keep and apply so now as you can see here we have this uh, shape let us see what this shape is okay okay on the same in the same way i'm just going to do it in the other side as well so go to trim sheet and this should be trimmed and it should be discarded using this click apply and now i'm just going to trim this sheet which should be kept and this is my trimming sheet and click apply so we have an extra feature here i think this is not required uh, let us go into sketch and remove this finish okay now we are uh, having this yeah so now what i will do is i uh, will just uh, uh, see these features all the features so before going to see you i'm just going to you know close this uh, um, open space here so how we, we can close this we can just go to bonded plane go to insert and we have a surface and then we can bounded plane so keep it as uh, connected and remove this and you will have okay now it is completely you know connected now i will just uh, see this and can just select all the features and click okay now everything is saved so now we are left with uh, some edge blends so we need to give edge blend 
So before going to edge blend, I'll just create a one more feature on this plane. Go to sketcher environment and click this. Now let us draw a circle with a diameter of 2 mm and also two lines here which is okay let me draw a line here and keep this as a you now construction line and let me draw two more lines from here and here and extend it with the e command i'll trim this with a t command okay and now let me close this okay and this is a slot for you know uh, putting the screws on the walls so let me make it as uh, symmetric so this should be these two should be symmetric to this so that it will have some a proper shape let me give some dimensions to this and for this from this to this it is 20 mm and from this point to this it will be 6.5 okay and now this length will be 1.2 Okay, I think uh, that's all we have uh, and also let us give this dimension as 1 mm. Okay, that's all. Uh, what I will do is I will just mirror this on the other side. So go to mirror and select this and my center line will be this. Click OK on the other side we have this feature. So let us click finish and then we will trim this surface. So this surface should be trimmed off with this boundary and click ok as and as you click ok you can see this is trimmed so now what we have to do is uh, we'll just give uh, uh, the edge blends so let us go to edge blends here and we have an edge blend here so let us give edge blend on all these four sides Now I will just give edge blend for uh, this as well, and click ok, and the next we will be giving an edge blend for uh, this bottom side that is 1.5 mm, click ok and next will be this face so let us give it as uh, 1 mm click apply and the same way I am just going to do it on the other side as well so click ok so as you can see here now we are left with uh, this edge so let us give an edge blend on this face as well here as well as here ok so now what I will do is I will just hit ctrl w and hide everything and only sheets I am just going to switch it on Okay, sheets. Yeah. So this is our, uh, you know, um, soap box. Now what we have to do is I have to give some thickness to this uh, sheet metal work. Uh, sorry, sheet. So I'll just go to surface and then thicken. Okay, I'm just going to select this. And 0.4 mm is the thickness. I'll just make it on the other side and click OK. So let me hide. Uh, sheet now now sheet is not required we have made a solid component so we have left with a sharp edges here so for that i'm just going to go into edge blend and let us give some edge blends here okay so this we have a beautiful uh, soap box uh, over here guys 
so this is how you can work with a surface modeling uh, in the future i'm just going to upload more and more uh, surface modeling workbench uh, examples so please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button as well as share my videos guys thank you